Hey, Max. Uh, I would like to start by thanking you and Synopsis for inviting me to participate in today's event and share a little bit about ontology. So I'm Humpty Calderon. I'm head of community at ontology. I help to bridge communities of enthusiasts, ambassadors, and developers. So a little bit about ontology. Uh, ontology is a project that is bringing trust, privacy, and security to Web3 through decentralized identity and data solutions. Ontology is probably better known for their layer one blockchain, which has been live for about four years. In fact, their anniversary is coming up and is being celebrated on June 30th. Probably less known actually is that Ontology has been building in the space of decentralized identity and data. What does that mean? Ontology actually joined the Decentralized Identity Foundation back in 2017 and has been building a comprehensive identity and data suite uh, since then. Uh, a few of these products, which I'll go through and the slides will uh, support that is uh, OntID, which is a based on the W3C recommendations for decentralized identifiers and verifiable credentials. So you may have heard some of these terms being discussed recently because identity seems to be this like really emergent property of Web3 and it's becoming a more popular topic of discussion. Uh, OntID actually is comprised of uh, quite a few different products itself. So like I said, OntID being the decentralized identifier that uh, Ontology has developed along with OScore, which is a protocol that enables you to unlock your reputation to be able to open up under collateralized markets in DeFi. Ont login, which allows you to sign into websites and applications in a way that uh, you remain in control of your identity and data. So you can think of this as like signing in with like your Facebook or with Google, with the exception that, you know, you control that data and you control your identity. And the last one is ONT tag, which helps the applications to be able to access user verification, verifiable credentials, excuse me, in a way that's uh, private and secure. So another product that Ontology has built is called Onto Wallet. And Onto works like most out, uh, wallets that you may already be familiar with, where you can hold and manage digital assets, interact with dApps, and the key difference is actually that it enables you to own your identity right off the bat. So as soon as you create a wallet, you actually create a decentralized identity as well. So what this allows you to do is actually start building with your uh, with OScore or your reputation on that wallet, right? Uh, Wing Finance is another application that Ontology has developed. And Wing Finance is a credit-based uh, credit lending platform, excuse me. So Wing Finance builds on that OntID and OScore, which I mentioned earlier, which then allows you to open up these under collateralized markets uh, within it. It has been deployed on Ontology, of course, Ethereum, BNB chain, and OKX chain. So it's a cross-chain uh, lending platform as well. And lastly, Ontology built Saga, which is a decentralized data protocol that seeks to help, seeks to help users, excuse me, uh, purchase and monetize data in a fair, secure, and compliant way. Our team is a global team, uh, as is Web3, uh, and we're all working towards uh, the mission of Ontology, which is to build decentralized identity and data solutions. So in terms of like what Ontology is building, there's quite a few use cases, uh, recent examples as well that I'd like to kind of highlight here. Uh, and one of those is uh, Rocky, which is a music NFT platform that's built on the BNB chain. And they partner with Ontology to provide decentralized identity and uh, KYC solutions for their um, curators, their creators, excuse me, and for their collectors. So as NFTs become a much more popular way of interacting with Web3, there's a continued need to ensure that creators are verified, right, to protect both the creators and collectors. And that's what Ontology is helping to do with uh, Rocky. Another example is Daimler Mobility. So you may be more familiar with that name from like their vehicles, Mercedes-Benz, uh, they work with Ontology to uh, build the Welcome Home app, which uses OntID that allows for uh, drivers to uh, curate their in-car experiences in a way that uh, safeguards their identity. So you can think of this as ways for when you get into a car, it's personalized experience, everything from when you start your car, uh, it signs you into your OntID, then it customizes like a seat position, radio stations, potentially even integrating with shopping too. So by integrating with OntID and the Ontology blockchain for mobility, Daimler is actually uh, enhancing that trust between their uh, brands, service providers, and customers. Um, 
So the last thing I want to talk about is Ontology's EDM, which actually they recently launched. And this monumental effort has actually facilitated a much closer alignment to the Ethereum community and its developers as well. Uh, there's a 10 million development fund that's open where uh, Ontology invites builders to come and build an Ontology, build with this identity stack. And in addition, recently hosting a hackathon with Dora Hacks, where uh, we are engaging with developers directly to build again with these decentralized identity and data. Uh, one more thing in terms of what Ontology is doing, they're also incubating projects like Orange Protocol, which is building out the reputation layer of Web3 on top of that uh, identity stack that Ontology has built. So Ontology keeps building towards the future of Web3. We have a pretty, uh, you know, pretty large community consisting of ambassadors from across the world with over 30 languages supported, 200 plus partners, 1.6 million ONT IDs created. Uh, which actually is a very meaningful metric, meaning that we are able to generate all of these identities across multiple blockchains and a blockchain that's supported by uh, nodes also that protect the security of the network. So if anybody's interested in learning more about Ontology, I invite you to please visit us on our website, ont.io, or join our community channels. All those links are on our website, or so you can scan that QR code that's up there. Again, I want to thank you, Max, for uh, allowing me to come up here and talk about ontology a little bit, and Synopsis for also uh, allowing me the space to be able to communicate and share a little bit more about what we're doing here in terms of how we're building the future of Web3. Thank you.